but somehow somewhere I'm finding new things in me finding like realizations about myself about how to approach things good morning guys it is wednesday morning it is seven o'clock or it's 7 30 almost 7 20. uh i've been up since five so i've been up for two hours so i finally starting starting somewhere to become a human um I need to get back up, get back to my five o'clock mornings because um, otherwise I will be sleeping. Um, I will have been in bed for nine, ten, twelve hours. It's not healthy. It's definitely not healthy for your heart, but it's not healthy for you in the long run and for your body. So uh, I went up five this morning. Um, the light lighting situation isn't the best right now uh for two reasons one i have the stronger light behind me because this is the most comfortable place but also uh usually the sun shines through the window but it's so early that the sun hasn't really risen that much it is on the rise at the moment so it's slowly getting a little bit lighter a little bit lighter i'm sorry i'm camera is, is making my me fussy uh but anyhow my morning is as is usual is i get up i take my pills um i weigh myself and then i sit down and i stitch and watch youtube on a very low volume setting so that i don't wake christopher um christopher gets up about an hour later and then i make my coffee uh, I sit down for a little while longer, do some more stitching, watching some more YouTubes, um, and it's now around 7, or it's 7.20, but uh, around 7 I stop watching YouTube, I go and get ready, didn't wash my hair this morning because I am going to head over to the uh, physiotherapy today and I decided that uh, I'm going to wash my hair when I get back because I probably will be sweating and gross so yeah and yeah that was the tv losing the connection with my mobile phone because i stream everything we have an apple tv uh but i don't use the app the youtube app i just uh, airplay from my phone um it's easier it's much easier to navigate so that's how i do it but yeah so uh, i wanted to kind of see if I can edit yesterday's video and then we'll see I don't want to do anything like exhausting or energy taking until I get to my PT at 1130 because I know that I have so limited amount of energy so limited amount of, of like push in a day uh, and if I do anything before the 11.30 time, I will not have the energy, full energy to put into my physiotherapy. And for me, the physiotherapy is so needed and it's so important. So it comes before everything. But yeah, uh, I'm going to go sit uh, inside, see if I can get a video edited. But good morning, guys. I hope you have an awesome day. By the way, it seems that the weather is really, really grey and really, really rainy outside this uh, Wednesday morning. Um, however, I must say, I'm sorry about the windows. They are super dirty, but we have constructions outside. So washing them will just get them more dirty. And I have this idea of that the the uh, kind of accumulated dirt on the windows is actually keeping the windows safe if i want to if i need to clean the outside um i am going to have to kind of wash off it off all the dirt because if i start scrubbing at it we will just get scratches and stuff because it's a lot of a lot of stuff but yeah it's a wet morning cold morning it is it's actually not that cold it's nine degrees outside Kind of nice. And you see, fall, fall. I see, 
how nice it is a couple of hours later um the bluest color you see here it is because i have a blue screensaver on the computer here but also because it is still the sun sun has gone up but it's still not not fully light outside yet uh so uh, i have gone and get gotten a whole bunch of more, more clothes the office is so much cooler than the rest of the apartment uh i don't know it's just so much cooler um i've been running around doing small things like sitting down doing a thing moving up just to kind of get my back not to scream at me uh but as i said i'm trying to not do anything that really requires any kind of energy or push so that i don't um uh, so i don't do so i don't doesn't have energy uh that was very very wrong so that i still have energy for my pt <laughs> or my um my physiotherapy i i want to say pt but i think that's personal trainer that's a whole other thing so yeah i have edited the video that's going up um listening to it took a lot longer today because it took me about half an hour however i did a couple of other things while i was listening to it like paying some bills because that was needed um i usually pay my bills when they come in the mail even though the payday might be much much later i usually pay them immediately because then i don't have to stay on track if i have any money in my account and all of those things um and i usually don't get uh mailed invoices i usually get everything online and automatically coming up in my bank like that is one of the things i really like with sweden your salary just gets into your account you, there's no checks really at all um and then most of the bills comes to the to your bank so it's like electronic invoices you just say yes and add which account you want it to be drawn from and then it does that for you uh you can go the whole route and get them automatically paid however i like to kind of stay aware of what i'm paying and how much i'm paying so um yeah that's the thing but yeah i had my physiotherapist my previous two physiotherapist uh times i had um i got a paper invoice now i have gone so many times my physiotherapy is paid by the state because it is healthcare and um you pay up to i think 1200 i think my physiotherapist is supposed to be paid by the state we'll see we'll see uh it is i think it's supposed to and it's in if that is the case i now have about a year of free healthcare because i just hit the um Kind of roof on that which is super awesome would i don't have to worry about that <laughs> but yeah so that is done the video is done uh i did a little t tr little try the little try um to um not have like just solid color when i have transitions uh like the intro telling you where you come so hopefully you like that if you do uh you could comment say whatever you like if you like anything about it please comment about it because i'm, I'm trying to figure things out uh, i'm going to try to figure things out for the rest of my life i think i will never grow up but anyhow i am going to continue drinking my coffee and i'm gonna eat my breakfast and i'm gonna do some gaming because it's about two hours until i have to leave for my physiotherapy and all of those things are very low energy things to do. So that is what I'm going to do. But yeah. This is the only full length mirror I have in the house. So I know it cuts me off. But this is how I look in my training clothes. Da -da 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 -da. It's not the best lighting, but you can't get it. <laughs> so they're black at the top and then they have this uh, sick zigzag here on the side and then you have the um pink that goes around so it kind of cuts your legs off in a nice way they're very comfortable and i really like that they have like the cotton elastics here and then they have the like just uh polyester at the top and bottom so yeah 
and then I have like a long tank top like I usually have and then I have the the, ooh, the little pinky shirt it's simple see they're a little bit tight in the arms but it works so yeah and also I got these uh, leg warmers and I promise you these are from when I was dancing when I was like 16 I think I got them at 9 10 because I think this also is the first warm leggings that I got or uh, that warmers leg warmers that I got so yeah yeah there you go there you go we have a little kitty here that is uh, kind of hunting this little one hi hi I am ready to head out. It is 16.26, 10, 10.26, not 16, 10.26. So I have about 10 minutes-ish before I have to leave the apartment. So uh, as you see, I am all dressed. I showed you uh, my clothing. I am actually going to go there in my clothing. It's still warm enough outside. It's like nine degrees outside. So it's still warm enough outside to run around in these kind of clothes. Um, I'm gonna have a jacket and all of those things on, of course. But I feel that I don't want to um, burden myself with too many other things. And like, I don't know if they have showers there. I don't know anything like that. So instead I am going to go there. I'm gonna train, I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna shower here. And all of those things, this is so like, the previous two uh, physiotherapist kind of things were never really training and now I'm actually going to do some training so it's a little bit scary uh, I have to remember to take my painkillers with me because I need to take them when I get there uh, and I'm also going to get some drinks with me but yeah it's, it's really it's nerve I'm nervous about it because I haven't done this in so long and I'm so worried that I'm going to do too much because I usually do and then I hurt and then I can't come next time but yeah we'll see she knows she can help me we are going to do this I'm going to fix my back I am going to get a little bit fitter so I have a little bit more energy uh, so that I can go back to work as soon as possible and I can earn money and I can travel the world and I can have all of the fun and do all my ideas and yeah I'm in a better mood today definitely in a better mood today so far not really any serious anxiety I had some stress related things when I was gaming because I didn't want to come too late to this meeting and it kind of stresses me out quite often <laughs> but otherwise it's been a pretty good day so far so yay uh, good days you should always see that you have good days and uh, kind of celebrate them that's the word I have been starting to kind of lose my train of thoughts a little bit more often than I usually do hmm. but yeah uh, I have to get my shoes ready and I have to leave but yeah, I'm heading off now. The drink that I'm taking with me is this Vitamin Well Reload. So it is a vitamin drink with just a little bit of fruit sugar in it. Otherwise, it's basically just vitamin and some tastes. So it's actually good for you and it's not white sugar in it. So these are what the ones I drink whenever I kind of train or if I overheated or because they're really, really good for that. They are a Swedish brand, so I don't know if you can get them in the States, but I really, really like them. Um, and I also like that they don't have any artificial sugar in them because that would make it a no-go for me. I'm back home. I took a quick shower. I didn't shower my hair because I had a rough enough time trying to actually get dressed and undressed. I have so much pain in my whole body like it burns under my feet I can hardly walk <laughs> um, it was it was a rough time getting home from the physiotherapist and I took the fastest bus 
which also meant that I kind of landed just outside the smaller grocery store. They are super expensive and we usually don't shop there, but I needed some milk and I needed some raisins and stuff. So I went in, I also got some cottage cheese, which I am going to eat. However, it has a tendency to get stuck in my teeth. So I thought I had talk with you before that. <laughs> So yeah, it was it was a good session. It was like I didn't do any training. The only thing that really felt was the burning above my knees. Um, I did uh, training in one of those walking things. And I have had issues with my musculars above my knees. So that might actually... We'll see how, how it will play out. However, if she's a physiotherapist, she knows how to how to do all of these things, but yeah. So I'm exhausted, like I'm so tired that I hardly know who I am. But as usual, I will not go to bed because then I can't sleep at night. Not that I can sleep at night, but I sleep even worse. And night sleep is important. So I'm gonna wedge out for most of the day. Uh, hopefully I will kind of recuperate in the next couple of hours. So I'm gonna start by uh, eating some food, drinking some water and make maybe make my second cup of coffee for the day. And um, if I have the energy, I have a video I want to record. Um, like I want to color stuff and I want to see if I can record it while I'm coloring it. I have an idea and I so want to see if I can take that idea to fruition um i've been working for on it a little bit for a couple of weeks and i have a few things left to be able to finish it off and i hope that i can do that i hope i have enough energy because i really really want to post it i so want to post it i have even more ideas right now all over the place but yeah um, I'm gonna start it by sitting and doing some gaming and eating some food. I'm probably gonna have to eat twice because um, I really have that empty feeling in my tummy. Lucky baby cat. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. It is evening and I'm going to head to bed. But I actually realized one thing and uh, I really want to tell you about it before I'm heading to bed. So I'm a person that needs goals. I'm an extremely impatient person, really, really impatient. And like I can cross stage and I can color for hours. I'm like, I'm not impatient, but I I realized one thing. With the cross stitching and with the coloring, I have like small goals along the way. like. I enjoy cross stitching, I enjoy coloring, it is soothing for my soul, but I still have like, I can feel that I have a finish all the time. Like with the cross stitching, I put up small teeny tiny goals, like now I have done that box, now I have done that little pattern piece, and now I have done that little piece, and every one of them is a little goal, so I get a little bit, yes! Got a little bit further and I think that is why I'm able to work with cross stitching at in such so much is because I have those small goals in between the bigger goals so like the huge goal is to finish the whole piece but the whole piece will take months and years to finish so then you need the, all the small goals like a page finish but a page finish is like two weeks it's a little bit too long so then you break that down and then you break that down and I do that into how the design is, how the design works and everything. Um, like I work in the columns and then I have my little goals and I don't really, I, I don't loudly say like now the next goal is this. It's more of a um, way I work. And the same thing with colouring, like I colour the face and then I colour the skirt and then I colour the hair and all of them are little finishes in themselves. So even though I might have put two hours of colouring into an image, 
I still have all those goals. Like this evening, I finished three images. Uh, I'm gonna put an image or put the image in here so you can see what I'm talking about. Like, I'm so happy about this. It's one of the better images I have done in a long time. And I'm really learning the medium of the pencils. I'm figuring out how everything works. I'm figuring out how to work with them. And it makes me so, so happy. But what I was going to go to was when it comes to goals, when it comes to my training, right now I don't have any goals. And this makes me a little bit... It's hard for me, um, the the um, physiotherapist says, you have to work until you feel that it's too much. Now, I very easily go into hyper-focus and I don't feel anything. So I'm very easily overworking myself for that reason. Uh, the second reason is that I don't feel that I have goals. I don't feel like what I'm doing is leading up to something. She's very good at explaining that I have to build up the muscles, but I feel that I don't have like a step-by-step -step goal chain, and I think I need it. I think that is what is missing right now from from this. Like I want, like the big goal in the whole thing is to don't have any more back pain. We, honestly to be able to go back to work because I have little or none back pain but because I don't know that much about physiotherapy and which I really should look into uh, but I also don't know how I don't know how to translate what she is saying into a goal-oriented mindset and by the way, this is a big thing for me to realize that I actually have a goal-oriented mindset. I never thought I would say that. Because I've always been like, yeah, but I'm just working. But yeah, I like gratification. Um, I knew that I had some goal settings, but I always had a hard time kind of thinking about the different ways of working. We work with sprints and we work with kanban and we work with all of those like organization tools and you work with goals and you work with setting up good amounts and stuff it's always been hard but i think it's because i think i'm not a goal setter and then i start looking at everything i do and like i set goals all the time so i think i need to embrace it <laughs> I think I need to embrace it but yeah I have been talking your ears off again because I get all of these like epiphanies and then I need to tell someone and Christopher is tired he has already gone to bed I need to go to bed um but yeah the evening was very slow I did get a few things done on the thing that I wanted to get done um I tried it out earlier I didn't put in that much effort and it didn't came out good and then I kind of looked at what I did and figured out what was the kind of why I felt that it didn't turn out good and then I changed it and I think I actually got something good out of it and that is another thing this is so strange like I I have hit a wall. We have talked about this. I have hit a wall. I am super stressed because of all the health things. And I can't work and I can't do anything of those. But somehow, somewhere, I'm finding new things in me. Finding like realizations about myself, about how to approach things and I think it is because I'm constantly working with myself I constantly try to look at 
things to do and also I'm one of those persons that I need to work on something and when I can't do my job and I can't and I feel that if I put in too much time with the cross stitching I will hurt my back even more but also I will kind of get depressed because it's all I can do um then I feel I feel a bit lost because I don't know what I can do and then I start thinking in different like ways of thinking and how can I make this situation work the best way because that is honestly what it's all, all about is to accept the situation you are in and just see what you can do to make it work see what you can do to make it progress that that's the thing that's the thing and I don't know I just had all of those epiphanies today and that is awesome. But I am exhausted. Have I told you that yet? I think I have. A couple of times today, actually. Um, so I'm gonna head to bed. But I'll see you tomorrow. So good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite.